final episode, Craig and Nit. Craig got home after his holiday, a bit of a strange holiday, and over the coming two months, quite a lot of emails backwards and forwards from Nit to Craig and Craig to Nit, and a lot of apologies and Nit saying her mum's okay now and sorry she didn't tell him about the mum. Um, and she was looking forward to seeing him and making up for the short holiday together when she saw him. When's he coming next? He was quite excited. For some reason, he in his head, he'd fallen for Nit. And he was excited to get back to Thailand. So he wasn't long, maybe two months. He booked flights. Um, and he, he booked the same hotel again in Patea just for a couple of nights. Time flew by and before we knew it, he was on the airplane back to Thailand. Arrives, get to his hotel, checks in and it's it's um, really late at night. So, and he's really tired, so he just sleeps. Next morning, gets up, has breakfast. He told Nick that he was coming and um, that he'd come to the bar and see her. Must have been 10 o'clock. Finished breakfast. Quite excited. Off he went. Down to her bar. He gets there and the boss is pleased to see him. No niche, not there at the moment. And he asked where she was. She's not come to work yet. And next to him at the uh, same front part of the bar was another guy who was reeking of money. It, just the watch and his jewellery, his clothing, really smartly dressed, um, quite plump, maybe 60, 65 years old, was sat there on his own. And Craig orders a pint of beer and sat back and just sort of, I'll wait for her saying this to the boss. And the boss kept looking at this man next to him. Anyway, the man said hello to Craig. So they just started talking. And uh, as you do, you're on holiday. Another foreigner there having a beer, you get chatting. Not sure the country this guy was from. But this guy had overheard Craig said he'd come to see Nit. And Craig said, yeah, it's, um, he said, she's my girlfriend. She works here. And the guy, and this, this, this happens all over in bars, said that um, his girlfriend was also called Nit and she also works at this bar. You just, you just know this story before I even tell you this bit. Craig moved a stool nearer to this guy and they started talking and Craig didn't um, let the guy really finish his story Craig started telling this guy all about Nits and how he'd met her and then the guy said that he'd been seeing this girl Nit for two years and that every year They'd spent three or four times together and they holidayed always at a five-star resort in Phuket. Um, and you can read between the lines, but after 20 minutes of conversation, it started to dawn on both of them that it was the same girl, the same knit. And then Craig started drilling this guy down on some dates which was a really good move and it turned out that the few months before when Craig had taken Nit to Krabby and it was what one day in that this guy had said quite often he'd fly straight into Phuket and he'd go to the resort wherever it was and he'd ring it send her some money and she'd jump on a plane and come down well he 
arrived, checked in, rung NIT and sent her some money as usual to her account and she arrived lunchtime to his resort which was a bit earlier than a bit quicker than he, that he thought she would arrive. Now we know why she was early because she was only a couple of hours away by boat across the Andaman Sea. She was at Krabby, he was at Phuket. Whether she taxied or put on the boat, that's when she left Craig that morning. She'd gone straight round to Phuket. Why? Because this guy had a lot of money and spent a lot of money on her. Was very flash with his cash. And when Craig and this guy started to drill down, it dawned on them that that's why Nit had come to this guy so quick and that's why she'd left Craig. It was down to this guy and money. Now at this point Craig was in a really tricky situation. He's been seeing this girl in the bar, another guy's been seeing her longer and as not to lose faith she came up with a story about her mother, left him and went off for this other guy. The chance of him meeting this guy at the bar you'd think is very slim but maybe not so because Thailand's a big place, but when you start talking about Patea and the bars, it can be quite a small place. People talk. And it's not fair for Craig to say that he was, she was his property, or they were long-term boyfriend, girlfriend. They had only seen each other for a few days. When this guy wasn't about, was it fair to say that she couldn't see other customers? No, not really, it's because of the industry she's in. But she just didn't want to hurt Craig's feelings by telling him maybe the truth, the whole story. But right now, Craig was feeling used uh, by her, felt cheated. Lots of emotions running through his head. But what does he do right now? He sat at the bar, he's just landed, she's due any moment and the other guy's here he thought he said to the guy i understand i'll step back from her i'd like you to say goodbye to her and the other guy who's like fully understands about nit having other guys and he's yeah cool 20 minutes later nit walks into the back of the bar and as she walks forward her face drops she sees craig and her golden egg, whatever you want to call the guy with the money, sat talking. Craig stands up as she walks forward and starts to say, um, I know what's happened and I know this about you and what, and I won't see you again. At that moment, she's losing face because he's confronting her she's sort of cornered and she goes into a attack mode and starts shouting at him and calling him lots of names and just really being nasty but it's like a self-defense mechanism he'd not seen this side to her and he threw some money on the counter for his beers said goodbye to the guy turned around and walked off which was the best thing to do and as he walked off, he heard her talking very sweet to this guy and saying sorry. And at that moment in his Thailand holidays, he realized she wasn't the one. She was the one for his short holidays. She was company. And fate had done a bit of a twist on him. You'd think that would be the end of it. No. Never is. He's just arrived for a two-week holiday. Something in him can't let go. And later that evening, he goes back to the bar to say sorry. Goes to the boss and she's like, why are you come back here? 
not she wants to turn customers away <laughs> and he said I want to say sorry and he said well she's gone this man they've gone away um, and he still sits there and has a beer and he says I'll email her and say sorry and he has a few beers and then wanders off around later that night he goes back to the hotel sits on his laptop composes a sorry email and sends it to her not thinking he's going to get any response it was late it must have been 12 1 o'clock in the morning within 10 minutes email came back from her saying I'm sorry also I should have told you but um, this man is lovely he, he takes care of me really well but I prefer you <laughs> I like you more you're <laughs> I don't know whatever it's like the email and what's it do it just pulls his heartstrings she's now with the other guy wherever talking to Craig saying she misses him <laughs> and, and it says that she's away for a, a week with this guy and if when she's guy's gone in a week's time she'd be happy to see Craig yeah you know it a week goes by he gets a phone call she's still got his tie sim he gets a phone call a message from her I'm back at bar his heart's jumping why and it's it's mid morning he gets uh, out of his hotel straight round to the bar and there she is happy as anything to see him comes bounding across the bar throws her arms around him she said the other man's gone should we get you do you want to go away let's have some time together hmm and he says yeah now I could say at this point many different things they went off into the sunset and lived happily ever after together got married and had five children bought a big house in many countries and were in love forever there could be lots of twists and turns from this point there is some twists and turns but it's many like many story you hear you've heard it all before do you want me to tell you what I know about this as as time went on there is more to it but it could be similar to other stories well I'm going to leave it there and leave it all for your imagination of what happens next but if you want me to uh, maybe continue it a bit more drop some comments below um, you've had similar stories happen to you let me know but with these stories I never know how long to do them how many minutes how many episodes so let me know your thoughts do you want more of this story do you want to hear what you probably already know the story is going to turn out I'll leave it up to you Thanks for watching, as ever. I'll see you when I see you. Take care.